do a quick overview of the, of the graphs you need to make today. I'm gonna talk to you quickly about those. So again, depending on how many you make, you get the score outlined on the rubric. Um, but the four graphs that I'd like you to make look something like this. And the challenge is to find a, a program, an online program that'll help you do that. Um, there's one that I think works really well. It's called Create a Graph, which will walk, well, will give you the tool to make something like this. Um, but essentially, pennies per ounce, you have a data table with information for your four objects sold by mass. And I want you to make a bar graph of that. And you have to figure out what a good title of it would be. That's up to you. But you do need a title and you need your, your axes labeled. That's graph one. Um, graph two is something, if you want to be, as opposed to B minus, you, you should not use pennies per ounce. You should use something a little more difficult. This one's milliliters per penny. And for that, you are doing your liquid objects. So you have, say, like vitamin, vitamin water, water, shampoo, or conditioner, and you're making a bar graph. Again, you're going to have to figure out your own title, uh, but you do need a title and uh, labels on the axis. Um, you can, of course, do these by hand, but I think doing it on, you can actually use Google Sheets for this. It's not too hard. I'll, I'll try to outline some of the ways to do that. Then for those folks going for a B plus, you want to make a line graph of your weight in ounces versus your grams. And so you make this be a, a scatter plot with a line drawn through it or a, simply a line graph. But it's, the scatter plot's nice because it shows you your points, which is what I'd like to see on there. You're going to name this graph not Y versus X, but whatever is on the Y axis versus what's on the X axis. So you have to do a little thinking to figure that one out. Um, for those of you going for an A minus, you're going to do this fourth graph, same idea, except this is your fluid ounces versus milliliters. And you're going to, um, same thing, label the axes, uh, scatter plot with inserting a line on top or a line graph, and then a uh, title, which is Y versus X, which again is the Y axis versus, you write that, that unit out, versus the unit written out for milliliters. And those are your, those are your four uh, graphs that you need to figure out how to make using the data on your spreadsheet. I'll be helping out uh, with, by posting some how-to videos about the other, you know, the actual use of the computers to do that. Or you can, better yet, you could puzzle it out on your own to, um, you know, learn how to use the graphing programs to create graphs like this using the data that you have. Good luck.